An interesting return for the set, coming up. Hello again, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me, as always. My name is Troy Rutter, a.k.a. TTM Troy, and this is the channel where I show you some of the autographs I have gotten in recently to kind of give you an idea of who you might want to send to to get your autographs through the mail. That's basically the main type of autographs that I do on this channel. It could be sports, it could be entertainment, although I, I actually have an entertainment return coming for you in one of the upcoming videos, so I gotta, I gotta sneak that in somewhere. I haven't had one. <laughs> haven't had one of those in a while, but hey, most of the time is what I'm sending out are hockey cards or football cards or baseball cards through the mail to spring training, the teams, or private addresses, and that way you might get a, a kind of an inkling of who is signing currently, and maybe you could get an autograph of your favorite player as well. So here you go, and uh, thank you so much for joining me again. So let's get straight into this very interesting return for my 1991 Don Russ set. Here you go. Boom. All right, like I said, this is an interesting one. This is Dick Perez. He signed one of one in 15 days via his studio in Pennsylvania. Now you'll notice that this is actually a checklist card and it is a very specific checklist card from the 1991 Don Russ set. This is the checklist card from the Diamond Kings. Uh, the 26 cards in the Diamond Kings for that set. So he actually signed the front and the back and what is great about this card is Dick Perez is actually the artist who drew all of the Diamond Kings for Don Russ. So this is, you know, that is why I sent him this particular checklist because those are all the portraits that he did for the set. So very cool. I, I really, uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed this. Now he has also painted pictures for the National Baseball Hall of Fame. And he was born in Puerto Rico and moved to New York at age six and to Pennsylvania where he still lives when he was 16. And he was actually the official artist of Major League Baseball for 25 years, Mr. Dick Perez. Next we have another Perez, Hernan Perez. <laughs> he signed one of one in 252 days via Brewers Spring Training. And you can see the address right there, although you'll, you'll probably want to wait a while to see if he is on the, the roster this year because spring training hasn't started yet, obviously. <laughs> it's still, still January, huh? So that is that address, so hold off on that. Now, um, this Mr. Perez was born in Venezuela and has played for the Tigers and the Brewers starting in 2012. Now, he was later sent to Brewers AAA and opted for free agency. So again, you'll have to keep tabs on Mr. Perez if you want to write to him uh, in the upcoming season. Next, we have Jim Morrison. Not that Jim Morrison, but the baseball Jim Morrison. He signed one of one and added one of his own in 179 days via his home in Florida. You can see the address for Mr. Morrison right there. Now, he actually played from 1977 to 1988 for the Phillies, the White Sox, the Pirates, the Tigers, and the Braves. And he is currently the manager of the Gulf Coast League Rays. And in his career, he ended up playing in 1,089 games with a .260 batting average and 371 runs with 112 home runs and 435 RBIs. Jim Morrison. Next we have Joe Sorella, who signed two of one, which means he signed one of one and included something of his own in 226 days via the Stockton Heat. You can see the address right there. Now he played from 1981 to 1997 for Colorado and the Devils, the Nordics, the Rangers, the Panthers, and the Ottawa Senators. And then he went on to coach with the Panthers and other organizations. So this is the card I sent him. And then he actually sent me a 4x6 uh, as well in the package. So thank you, Mr. Sorella. That's pretty cool. And I really appreciate you including that bonus. It's a very good shot of him. And it really pops there on the ice, the black on the ice right there. I don't know what the guy in back is doing with that Gatorade. He looks kind of... Uh, um, 
surprised or something there. I don't know. <laughs> but there you go. Joe Sorella. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a great start to the new year. I am catching up on some TTMs that I've gotten over the past few weeks. I took a little break and, you know, I might take another little break here, uh, maybe in March uh, when spring training is really getting into the swing of things because um, obviously I'm going to be sending out to spring training, but nothing will be coming in for a while. So I, I'll probably take a little break there and uh, see what's happening. Uh, I do also need to get some of my finances squared away for the new year. I I, um, I kind of went overboard on stamps this past year. Yeah, I kind of did that. And that with the, the trip to the nationals and social media marketing world and uh, VidCon, um, I'm trying to recoup <laughs> some of those uh, some of the, some of my finances from last year. I'm sure a lot of you people can relate. So if you want, uh, I'm still trying to get my autograph wall going uh, and and going strong. So if you want to be a part of the autograph wall, you can look down below. All I ask is that you send me an index card with your autograph. And if you want one of my custom cards, I still have like 500 of those left. Just uh, put in a self-addressed stamped envelope and I'll send you one of my custom cards as well. So, hey, I want to thank all you guys who have stood in here or stayed with me throughout my absence in December. I really appreciate it. You know, I did get a few emails. I even got one uh, donation to the TTM hot list. So I really appreciate that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that again after spring training or not. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, it's a lot of work. You know, it's, uh, uh, it is a lot of work. Let's, let me just put it that way. <laughs> uh, and I have started picking out some of my own players from the hot list last year on COMC and getting some cards ready from people that I've never sent to. So hopefully those people are still around and uh, still signing this year because I, I really want to start off spring training with a bang. So oop, I just dropped a couple of cards on the ground. So that must be my cue to wish you a happy new year and may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye.